What's up, guys? This is Andy from Showtime, and this is the Finicky Fooler. This is the iFish Pro competitor, allowing you to use your ice rod instead of pulling in a fish by hand using a traditional tip-up. So this company is located in central Wisconsin, family-owned and operated. Um, pretty simple in design. It's a square body flag with the trigger, rod holder, and that really is all it is. And it is allows you to fish without a bobber, open spooled, so you can reel in the fish using a fishing pole. So that's kind of the product in a nutshell. All right, here is the setup process of getting this all ready for ice. This is how it comes packaged when you put in the compact. So you pop this trigger out, pull flag out, drop it about an inch into the hole, pull the rod holder out, drop that sucker in, grab your favorite rod, Right. Drop this line. You can you're gonna open the bail in a second, but drop the line in this little trigger. Okay. Pull the flag down and latch it right there. And you kind of want to make sure that this is touching the ground or touching the, the base. So you do that by moving this O-ring back and forward. If you move it back, that's going to make it a hair trigger. If you move it forward, that's gonna make it a stronger trigger. So I'll show you what happens when I move this for back. You'll see that this thing will lift automatically. And if you move it back a hair, I try to find the medium where it barely goes up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. And then I will open the bale. And this is kind of what it looks like. Set up. So, once I pull on the line, then it's free spooling out. Pretty cool little product. Haven't seen anything like this. I like that it packs down real small. I like this is very simple. I wish it was a spiral. They do sell a spiral version, so you could probably buy a different one. I wish this was a spiral version because I think look at the look at the amount of room there is and if I don't know, is there a possibility that this could go in the drink? Maybe. So there is that concern of mine. You probably want a longer butt end so that it holds in the rod holder more securely the flag is orange i might put some black tape on it because it contrasts better with snow um, trigger is pretty well made pretty simple they added this little rubber gasket in here so that the line can't move forward it's like a stop in a way and it's called finicky fooler